Nvidia has just lost $400 billion in value, the biggest one day drop of a stock in history, and they're not alone. US tech stocks are selling off across the board. Microsoft, Palantir, AMD, off the back of a new Chinese technology that threatens US dominance in AI and beyond. This new Chinese AI is as smart as OpenAI's best models, but is trained and sold for a fraction of the cost. And they have skyrocketed their app to become the most downloaded free app in the US. So thanks to Rocket Money for sponsoring Sponsoring this video, but more on that later. So DeepSeek has captured the attention of the US tech market like nothing before, because at a time when US tech companies have been buying up AI chips for tens and even hundreds of billions of dollars, this technology could make all of that investment obsolete. So let's see what's actually going on by looking at what we know and don't know about DeepSeek's technology, and then looking at the stocks that will be the biggest winners and losers based on this new technology. So the media and tech markets are freaking out about about DeepSeek's latest AI model called DeepSeek R1. This is an AI model that they claim has performance on par with ChatGPT's O1 model, but while OpenAI spent over $100 million to train their top ChatGPT models, DeepSeek's AI model reportedly cost around $5.6 million to train. And what makes this so crazy is this is at a time when US tech companies have been preparing to spend upwards of a billion dollars training their future AI models. So that is an order of magnitude drop in cost for training AI that has taken the market completely by surprise. Now that alone would be big news in the AI space. I mean, the cost of AI has dropped from mega yacht money to the cost of buying a souped up sports car. Now I won't get into the details of how this new AI model was created. There's plenty of technical deep dives that you can find online. But what's crazy is a Chinese company managed to build this thing while being under a chip ban from the US. And this is what has the stock market so worried. Remember, just a week ago, there was talk about a group of big US tech giants investing $500 billion into developing US AI tech, with AI data centers being one of the biggest planned investments over the next several years. The general philosophy has been that the country with the best AI will be the country with the best AI chips. And now a little Chinese AI model has proven that maybe everything we thought about building AI up until now was kind of wrong. Okay, so that's the background. Let's now get into what we know and don't know about how this breakthrough is going to impact the broader AI market going forward. And then we'll get into how it will either benefit or hurt some specific stocks like Nvidia, TSMC, AMD, Microsoft, and Google. So it's an emotional time in the stock market right now. It's really easy to panic when we see stocks making big, fast moves like we've seen with Nvidia. I've even had people ask if they should just sell all their tech stocks. So I think it's helpful in times like these to lay out what we know and what's just speculation at this point. So we know that DeepSeek's AI is very powerful. Are you arguably on par with OpenAI's latest O1 model. We know that it was cheaper to train than other AI models, although until another company manages to train a similar model for a similar cost, we're kind of taking their word for it that they did it for under $6 million. And we know that they probably trained the model without access to massive, super-powered AI data centers. So at the very least, they have made some significant improvements on how we can train AI models going forward. Okay, but how about what we don't know? Because this could have a bigger impact impact on what moves we make in the market. So we don't know if this is going to negatively affect future US AI spending, including the $500 billion Stargate investments. Even if DeepSeek has proven that you can make a really good AI model for way cheaper than previously thought possible, what's to stop someone from taking DeepSeek's innovative approach and combining it with all the AI data centers that money can buy? And the bigger question for me, we don't really know why this news is popping up right now. I mean, the DeepSeek R1 model was just announced like seven days ago, and that seems to have coincided with the drop in US tech stocks, but this isn't DeepSeek's first AI model that was trained this way. We can actually see their models dating back to DeepSeek V3, which launched last December, and we even have V2 going back to last summer. Their older DeepSeek V3 model was kind of close to GPT-40, it was still pretty smart, and it was also trained for under $6 million. And that's been out for well over a month at this point. So why is DeepSeek R1 such big news right now? Plus, the DeepSeek mobile app still actually uses DeepSeek V3 by default, unless you explicitly tell it to use the new R1 model. So I'm not really sure if R1 is the reason that everyone is downloading the app now. This is one of those things where it seems like everyone has kind of jumped on the same idea at the same time, even though this isn't really new information. Everything about this latest announcement, we probably could have predicted back in December. But okay, let's take a step back. Since the stock market 
market is often totally random and unpredictable in the short term, let's look at who could be the long-term winners and losers because of this new AI breakthrough. But before we get to that, the best way to make money in stocks is to save money for you to invest, which is where today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is an easy to use app that helps you save more and manage your money better. So I'd signed up for a DoorDash trial subscription and a few months later, I realized I was still paying for it, but I wasn't using it. Well, once you connect your bank account, Rocket Money identifies all of your subscriptions in a single list. From there, you can select the ones you don't want anymore, and Rocket Money may be able to help you cancel with just a few taps. And if you're trying to save money for a goal, Rocket Money automatically analyzes your accounts to determine the optimal time to save so you can reach your goals faster. You can choose your savings goal, pick a preferred savings frequency, and watch as your savings start to grow. And you can edit, pause, or withdraw at any time. Now, one of my biggest hacks with investing is to automate my savings so that I always have some money ready to buy into a market dip. So to save more and spend less, join the over 5 million members already using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com fintech or click the link in the description to get started for free. And now let's talk about the specific stocks that will benefit and suffer from DeepSeek's AI breakthrough. So the biggest winners when AI models become cheaper to train is whoever is doing the training for these models. OpenAI, Microsoft, Google, Anthropic. All these companies have spent hundreds of billions of dollars building AI that they can sell to their users and other businesses. And while these stocks have seen a short-term drop in prices after the DeepSeek announcement, I think that this is mostly short-term. I mean, it's not a great look that they were outcompeted by a small upstart from China, but long-term, I think that cheaper AI training can only benefit these companies. Plus, there's still a decent chance that they can simply take DeepSeek's approach, throw a couple hundred billion dollars at it, and make it 10 times better than it already is. The hyperscalers are so big, and they have so much money that it's hard to see a world where they can't adapt to AI innovations like this. But not every stock that dropped in the wake of DeepSeek's media moment is guaranteed to benefit from cheaper AI training. A lot of the money that big tech has been investing into AI has gone into purchasing high-powered GPUs to train their massive AI models. And the single biggest receiver of those funds has been NVIDIA. NVIDIA is estimated to control 98% of the AI data center space. That's probably the most dominant position any company has had over an emerging technology in the past century. This has allowed NVIDIA to absolutely print money for the past five years, with the company's stock price increasing by 1900% during that time. But with that dominance also comes risk. If the AI data center market were to slow its growth or even shrink, that would have a huge impact on a company like NVIDIA, as well as their partners like TSMC, who manufactures their chips, and other companies that create GPUs like AMD or even Intel could also get caught in the meltdown. But that's only if the AI data center market shrinks. Up to this point, there hasn't been any evidence that AI data center growth will stall. If anything, the ability for a small company to train an open AI, O1 quality AI model is gonna light a fire under big tech giants to redouble their investments into AI to stay ahead of the market. A lot of people have phrased what's happening as this new Chinese AI company will destroy US tech stocks. But what if we reframed it as this small tech company just invented a new breakthrough AI technique, potentially democratizing access to pretty good AI models for everyone. Just because this breakthrough is unexpected and yeah, it's going to impact some stocks negatively, it doesn't mean that it's bad for the overall AI ecosystem. Personally, I'm not planning on making any trades based on this news, but I do plan to play around with DeepSeek's technology more to see how it'll be useful to the broader AI ecosystem. And YouTube's very expensive AI thinks that you'll really enjoy this video next.